Welcome to the Creators here at Sun City. Coming to you every Tuesday and Friday. Extended conversations that build community making for creators videos, by art making what you make. Today on The Creators, Dina Gagnon thrives in the creative community in downtown Summersworth, where she runs The Gathering Place, running workshops, selling, making, and celebrating arts and crafts, building a creative community, and a Summersworth Citizen of the Year. So we invite you to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Well, you got to watch the show first. So here we go. Hey, and welcome to the creators of Some City. Bill Rogers here. Have the good pleasure of speaking to Dina Gagden, who is right, whose office, whose store is right across the street, right. the gathering place. Yep. Yeah. And Dina, thank you for coming in. Thanks, Bill. So starting this interview, as mm -hmm. we always do, this conversation, do you consider yourself a creator? And does that mean anything in particular to you? Um, yeah, I, I consider myself a creator of multiple things. You know, I, I'm always trying to be creative and give people a space to be creative. So I feel that's part of my creativity. Um, and uh, I think it's just important to have that in our lives. So that's why I've designed that space in order to do that. So what is um, that? What is, what is creating and being a creator to you? Um, so uh, I always like to see things being developed and coming to fruition, whether it's through art or through um, different forms of media. Uh, so... I felt as though there was a need in the community for that and for just the average person to do the basic creative thing, whether they were artsy or not. Or um, So um, that's why I ended up opening up the shop in the first place. Um, and the community crafters studio was to you know, help people along that process. And I feel like a lot of things are developed and made and created. Um, through being creative if you don't have that that process in your life you lose um the ability to invent things or make new things or change things that aren't quite right or mm -hmm. you know so i think it's an important thing that we that we teach ourselves and teach our ch children and you know share with our friends so a long time have you are, are you uh, have you been a long time uh, member of this particular community? So I grew up in Summersworth, so that's why it was so important for me to give back to my community and be a part of the process um, in which I always um, dream of a better Summersworth. Um, I feel as though I grew up and and it was a great place to live. I enjoyed it as a child, but did I ever think that I would stay here? No, I didn't. I I thought better things out there and different things to do. But then I started thinking about bringing up my children and how I wanted to bring them up where I grew up and um, try and provide them a better Summersworth. So by being involved in the community and um, in, in different uh, organizations, I felt like it was my, my mission to um, help that process. Did did you feel like you needed to uh, get people to understand what it what it would mean to have a store that would support, uh, help, a creative impulse both in the community as well as individuals? Um, that's the thing I've probably struggled with the most just because I'm kind of a shy person. I'm not very um, open with my with my process and and haven't really reached out too much to the general public i do more so with my friends and family and um hope that they pass the word along um i'm kind of a what i would say a humble person i always think of wilbur the pig you know um i try not to stand out too much um but just try to do what i can quietly and make a difference so i don't know so what is uh, what is the the creator space? What is your so the gathering place? place was started about five years ago. I went through a um, difficult part in my life, and 
struggled with what to do next. Um, and so I reached out to a place called Facebook and created a network of women um, that were also creative or were looking for creative places to um, share their talents. And so um, I started a network about five years ago um, and it helped me through a very difficult part of my life. And then they also encouraged me to open up the shop, which is a community crafters studio and gift shop. So not only do we ho have the home for crafting people, but we also um, inspire them to share their talents with others so that other people can enjoy the same things that we do. What was the, uh, what was the sense you got from other people about what might be an opportunity for you and, and how did that relate to this community of, of largely was it all women so, largely women um, that you largely were women to? I think just because that's you know that's what I was looking for at the time um, Summersworth was going through a big transition right then um, they were just under construction for the new road outside um, Main Street um, or High Street we should say uh, the um, and so they were redoing the roads and redoing uh, the sidewalks and stuff like that. So I felt like I wanted to be part of that process. I wanted to be part of that change. Um, you know, I wanted to uh, give people a place to look forward to come to downtown Summersworth. Uh, we always struggle with even our community members um, enjoying our downtown. So it was really important to me that um, I did something downtown for people to look forward to going to and see and spend time with friends and family and um, enjoy the beauty of it. Um, I just feel like a lot of times we miss that. We were too busy driving by or, or walking by or in a hurry going somewhere that we don't like really enjoy what we have um, and go other places so when did you open the gathering place so I opened the gathering place um, in November of 2014 I think so um, just over four years ago uh, or about four years ago actually um, and uh, I've moved locations recently uh, to a new space just a couple doors down because I have to stay on the street um, and uh, it's been a great up great great transition so it's cool we, we also moved uh, a <laughs> storefront as well and uh, um, mm. moving is a particular kind of hell for everybody yeah I think you came and filled us, <laughs> us that day <laughs> that was did. pretty exciting yeah we, did. we and, box yeah. by box moved from one side of the street few doors down and it was quite the process we were very fortunate to have many community members come out and help us and make the transition with us so and you say you know and it was it was a lot of a lot of boxes but a, a right. lot an awful lot of stuff in in that space and yeah. arts and crafters uh you know materials are really important to them how has right. having this space been for you um as a creator, as an entrepreneur, yeah. plus the people you work with. Right. So it's, represent. it's nice because what happens is by being a community of crafters, um, not only the people that, that sell things in the space, but also um, people that come to be just creative, um, we share things, we bring things in, we, we are very lucky because we get a lot of donations. So that lets us be able to do classes at a more reasonable price for people. Um, and children, like that's my big focus is just really trying to give the kids a place to come to um, that they can be creative in and enjoy being kids. Um, so it's been really wonderful to be able to do that process um, as a community, really. I mean, that, that's what it's really about. You were um, awarded, uh, recognized as the <laughs> Outstanding Citizen of the Year 2018. Yep, to my surprise, uh -huh. yeah. They, a little bit of a shocker, yep. Um, what do you think that 
that recognition means to the city and to the gathering place to you? Um, well, I really... Um, you know, not that awards are the point, but right? No, re- and it's not, and it's, and it's not about it. It's not about the award itself, but the fact that people recognize that you've done wonderful things in your community. Um, and you'd be surprised how many people are out there that um, could easily be recognized for the same things that I was recognized for. Um, we have many community members that do amazing things every day that we aren't aware of because they're not part of um, a big organization that you would maybe know, you know, like the, you know, Red Cross or anything like that. They're, they're, they're smaller things that they do on a regular basis that people don't really know because they're humble about it or they're quiet about it. Um, um, it was nice because I had um, I had recognized Don Hood uh, the year prior, and he um, gave me my award that day. And and for him, the same thing, you know, like not not many people knew of all the wonderful things he had done in the community, and that happens a lot. Like, so it's nice. The uh, the artisans that you represent. How do you find the people who uh, put their work um, in your in your store? Most stores? of the time, it's just through family and friends or other crafters in the space hear about it um, from craft fairs or different things like that. Because we really try to open our door to all beginning crafters because we really want to be the place that gives them a, a home. Um, because going to craft fairs is wonderful and you get that great instant gratification of that day but to really be a business or or learn to how to be a business um it's nice to have a place to call your home uh, and just sell your things in a shop it's really a unique uh opportunity so we really um really try to encourage people to to just try um and and to experience what it's like and be part of our community a lot of what we're uh what the creators of um some city is uh is finding you know your story is our story our story is your story we're finding those right. stories that mm-hmm. are embedded in this in this community um which are part of a larger economy part of because the creative economy is part right, of the economy right right exactly and so by um it's really what's nice about having a shop uh downtown and and having local crafters as my as my members and community is that you're making an impact when you're making a purchase not only for the shop but for that person like it's an individual it's not it's not a company in California or, or a, you know, um, uh, overseas or anything like that. It's really just your neighbor next door or the teacher at your school. I don't know how many teachers we have in the shop um, or just even children. So we have a couple crafters that are children, and, and they're getting that opportunity to understand what it's like to sell something and make something and, and you know, to have their things in other people's homes is quite nice. So satisfying um beyond satisfying yeah yeah what what is it what are some aha moments that you've had when you say wow i think this is um, working so uh just a couple of weeks ago i had um i also work at the school after school with the after school program and so um i have students that see me on a regular basis and know that i have the shop downtown because they come during the summer uh, to do activities and one young lady came in i think she's about 13 years old and wanted to paint with a friend and and so my daughter was there that night and you know brought out the paints and stuff like that and she's like well I really don't have any money and Lindsay's like don't worry about it you know just come enjoy yourself be creative and um they spent a few hours in the shop and stuff like that and when they left they left a little note with a dollar and 40 cents uh that said we really appreciate having you and thank you for letting us use the space um and so that was like really meaningful to me. Like, it it's not about the amount of money; it's that the the fact that they took what they had and gave it to the shop um, to thank us. You know, so it's nice to be able to give that 
to the kids, you know. So mm -hmm. it was really nice. Mm. Yeah. So, what? Uh, how do you define success? Oh, you asked me this before. Yeah. And I, it's hard. I don't. Success is just to me. It's not about money at all. It's about success. Is is people recognizing you on the street or coming in and saying, I heard about your space or people leaving excited about um, a class that you've done or, or message you on Facebook to say, you know, that they enjoyed their time at your space or, you know, it's, it's about the impact that you create on others. Uh, that is true success. It's mm -hmm. not really about money as much as it is about, about that feeling that you get from, you know, giving somebody else something, you know. Well, what I've loved about coming into your shop is seeing the high level of artisans mm -hmm. whose work is there and a celebration of, of that work. And it's a nice place to, you know, I bought some things for, yeah. for, for people yeah. there. Uh, but seeing a, a celebration of, of really fine work and, and the, the way it's displayed uh, yeah. really raises raises that and work. that's the thing like we are very affordable uh, for the community and um, encourage people to keep it that way uh, but at the same time we treat them like they're worth a lot so I just really try to make people feel as though their things are always valued um, when it comes to being in our space it's not just about the items themselves but the people connected to them so as I walk around the shop and people ask about things I don't all I don't only tell them about the thing but I tell them about the person and and where they're from and how they became a creator or a crafter um, so it's really nice to have those stories that go along with what the product is and a lot of times that's what sells the item or um, or makes people ask about more things. Do you uh, do you find your uh, I use creative self, but just your uh, that that part of yourself that that's that created this space, for example? Do you find that it's in the creation of a work, or is the entrepreneurial side the the creating um, a real business in a real place? It's it's. It's the entrepreneurial part, but it's the creativity that made it what it is. Mm -hmm. um, I've done a lot of direct sale companies. I've done a lot of businesses. I've worked for Walmart. I've worked for Target. I've worked for um, all. Um, but it's that connection that I think gives me the most value um, and um, makes it's so uh, fulfilling as a person um, to be able to do that. So, mm. well, it uh, we've had great conversations <laughs> about about this this street and how important that is, and, and and connecting with an audience. I love the story of you connecting with people on uh, on on social media, on Facebook specifically. Mm -hmm and how that has opened up a, a real place here. Right, and that's the thing. I think if a lot of people took time to um, connect with others uh, and create spaces that bring others in and, and give them places to uh, express themselves or be creative or you know, just feel part of a community, mm -hmm. I think um, we'd, we'd be doing such a better service to, to the overall community uh, mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. um, so luckily enough, you know, social media has helped in that aspect. You know, a lot of people uh, talk poorly about social media because you see all this negative information being put out, but it's, it, you're, you're either going to spend time looking at that negative uh, information or you're going to try to make positive information mean more. And then people won't focus so much on the negative. Um, I know sometimes we need to bring the negative forward in order to move forward. Um, and so 
I always share my struggles and frustrations with whatever is happening, uh, but I always try to look for the good in it uh, in the end. You know, um, all, my misfortunes have made me who I am today mm -hmm. and uh, have helped me move forward in a stronger way. So um, I just really appreciate that, and I appreciate the people that helped me do that because you can't do that kind of thing by yourself. It's mm -hmm. not possible um, to do those things without, um, being a part of something. So mm -hmm. it's been a great experience. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for, Thanks. uh, opening yourself up to the inquisition yeah, of the camera. I, I know it's, it might not be your favorite thing <laughs> to do. Definitely not. <laughs> but you, you, you do it well because, um, because you are just, speaking yeah. <laughs> speaking very directly yeah. yep so i try uh really hard to just give people who i am the good and the bad uh and try to do my best um and that's all anybody can ask for right so that's it that's it yeah. thank you so much <laughs> thank you. and uh we'll see you over at the gathering place that real sounds soon. great okay. thanks bye-bye yeah.